speak to the Wednesday, July 5th, 2023 Nelson um, Police Board regular meeting. We would like to acknowledge the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Tanaha, the Silix, and the Sinux people, and are home to the Nahi and many diverse Aboriginal persons. We honor their connection to land and rivers and respect the importance of the environment for our strength as a community. Um, our first item there is the consent uh, agenda, which includes the package of uh, the meeting agenda, the prior meeting, our action list, and correspondence information. Uh, if I could have a recommendation to move that motion. Well, thank you. Seconded. Is there anything that anybody wants to pull out or comment on? Okay, seeing no questions or concerns, all those in favor? And that carries. Thank you. And here we are. Number three. This is like never happened. Like this, it's, I, just, I still can't get used to it. How many months have I been? November? And a few months this public participation. Carrie. We're gonna see you next week. So we um thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> well, don't apologize. Well yeah. don't apologize. Um media, you're allowed to you're part of the public. Yeah. <laughs> I stand up. Stand up. Hit the show. I here I'm just gonna record this if this is okay. Um all right, so I this is a question probably directed at the chief. Um, I have received information that there were uh, paperwork that was sent out in regards to the Ron Vendel case that the two officers involved have been served. And I'm just wondering if um, you're able to comment on that at all. Served in what fashion? Sure what. Um, just like that, the lawyers from his from his legal team uh, um, are, are suing the two officers in regards to that incident, and that they either have received the papers at this point, or that they will in the coming days. Honest comment is the first I've heard of that, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, so, Ron Vandal is suing the city of Nelson, the Nelson Police Department, and two officers of his case against the department. This is either of you not heard of this. Papers have filed through the Supreme Court of Canada. I won't say I'm surprised by it, but I guess the first I've heard of it. Okay. I've had nothing sent to me as police board or as mayor of the city of Nelson. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you for public oh, and the press. And moving on to item four, business rising from previous meetings. Don't see anything there that was. Anything happening there? And so item number five, the chief constable's report. So it's up to you, chief. 5A and 5B are yours. Okay. Uh for a BCACP and BCMCP. Uh, we did have a meeting this week, but the majority of the meeting was in camera and around the decriminalization matters. So seeing that it was in camera, I can't report anything in the open meeting, but uh, nothing significant to update, but I can give you a little bit more of an update in the in-camera meeting just on the wrap and things. Uh, in regards to community policing, uh, as everybody knew from last meeting, the community safety officer uh, have been hired. Um, the, having an actual swearing in next week. We're looking at finalizing some of the training that's required just before they uh, are actually out deployed and can deploy <laughs> kind of on their own. We're going to have uh, you know some officers out get for the first while just to just to make them feel comfortable and kind of get used to what's going on, patrol around and stuff like that. So once that last bit of training, and the last bit of equipment here for them, they should be able to meeting with the businesses and going to the community events and stuff like that. So uh, had a few delays getting some of the equipment, which has been fortunate. But other than that, I think we're fairly well equipped. Excellent. Any questions for um, Mr. Vandal or the chief? Those two issues. None. Okay. 
What are you, deputy chief? I don't have a report for short justice. Uh, very nice. Well, everybody gets to have a lot of money. Yes. So, even, even Kathy. So that's. Well, no, you're different. <laughs> Chief, different, different for you as the chief. Can I just ask a question about that? So while she's away, what happens with the current? Person? So she get the referral still. So the, the referrals still come through, and then uh, when she gets back, she'll handle those Okay. Okay. Directors reports. I have seven A. I have BC Association of Police Boards annual conference update. There isn't really any update, and the BCAPB executive doesn't meet again until September. So really, after the conference itself, there was um, a private meeting among the executive of the executive um, to decide uh, roles. We knew who we knew who the president was going to be. It's uh, Trisha, remember her last name from the Van Barnes, Barnes from yes. the Vancouver Police Board. Right. Um, but I haven't heard anything from anybody, and uh, everybody was there, so I don't really have anything to report on. It seemed to me to be very successful, and I got lots of comments from people afterwards that they um, they appreciated the um, keynote and the panel, as well as the World Cafe and the questions we asked. People were really actively involved in. Um, I'm waiting for the report on the World Cafe comments because we, we took notes, but somebody's okay. going to compile them and, and write it out and, and send it to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I was just going to say on that the World Cafe thing, I heard a lot of comments too. And the only quasi negative one was that there wasn't enough time in each session. Like people were just getting kind of engaged in the <laughs> discussions and then it was time yeah, to, to move. move. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll give them that feedback for next year. So. That's um, a problem. Like that, because it takes, yeah. a, takes a bit to sort of feel yeah. out who's at the table. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did like the idea that question personal <coughs> move, because then you got to know your group better. So I think the first question was a bit calm. More tentative. Yeah. And by the time we got to the fourth question, we were Warmed full, up. We were, we were full yeah. on, only because of the fact that we well, knew each well. other, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it was almost like you needed to have an icebreaker mm -hmm. and then get into questions. But well, and the fact that it comes on the second day also helps that because we are just a little more familiar with everyone anyway. But just as a note, I will not be on the board anymore when the next conference comes around. So someone else is going to have to, mm -hmm. you know, think about our contributions and whether or not we have any. Um, Motions that we want to put forward or whatever. So. so then, because I'm sort of new in terms of you were on this um, association, should we have somebody else from? We have an alternate. Okay. It's um, uh, Lena. And so, you know, if Lena wanted to take over that role when I leave, and then someone else can be the alternate, or however you guys decide that you want to do it. It's just that my term will be over before the next conference right. occurs. Yeah. Okay. So but that's how it works. Is that there's always somebody from from each police board within the province that's on, on the BCAPB. Yeah. Okay. And they only meet every second month, so it's not. And they meet uh, online, so it's not. Yeah. Well, they they would like would like to have at least one in person meeting a year, but mm -hmm. this past year we have not. Yeah. Okay, great. That explains that to me. Okay, so next is my report. And I just wanted to, um, sorry, and bad on me for not um, pulling this out of the consent agenda, but I do want to recognize that um, uh, Devin has been um, approved uh, by uh, the Lieutenant Governor. So the Executive Council has said that uh, you are reappointed as member of the police board for term ending um, June 30th. So um, congratulations on your um, continued uh, appointment. Thank you. And also to uh, note that Lindsay has been reappointed um, as the 
as our municipal rep um, until the end of December 2025 as well. So just that's um, that's great that you've both gone through that process and and uh, have been reappointed. So thank you for your continued um, service. And other than that, um, in terms of things, sorry, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't put this on the agenda, but I wanted to just say a word about the ride along I did because I did oh, ride along sure. since the last time. So as board members were, you know, given that opportunity and encouraged to do a ride along with um, one of our constables. And um, so I went out with um, Sean, excuse me, Zukowski, and um, I, you know, we hear all sorts of things on the board about, you know, challenging and um, in terms of staffing levels and busyness of calls and, and just things that people get involved in. And that was, you know, my firsthand direct experience of, of that. And, um, you know, it was, uh, I just, I, I saw how, what, I was there for, for a morning and I just saw how busy things were. And um, what I was left with was just, um, you know, Sean is a beat officer, but he was he was not he was only on the beat for a very short period of time, and he had to go to calls in the car the rest of the time. But just you know um, that relationships are the foundation of of probably most of what you do. And he, you know, he has taken the time over the time he served in that position to build relationships with a lot of people who like a lot of people who are unhoused, a lot of people who have substance use challenges on our streets. And he knew, I think every person that we happened to interact with by name, they knew him, could have a conversation with them. And I just was really, uh, that's left uh, an impression on me as, you know, some good work being done by the department to um, have, to foster those positive relationships. Anyway, thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to kind of be else. Did anybody else report it for them? Okay, so in terms of my report, um, nothing really much new in terms of uh, what's going on in the, the city. We continue to, of course, top of mind for um, the city and city councillors is, of course, the um, vulnerable population, uh, those with mental health and addiction issues. Um, we've had many, uh, I, I personally had opportunities to talk as a chief with a uh, number of ministers. We work closely with uh, Emily Anderson's uh, office in discussing topical issues around this. And this week, I will be attending uh, two two meetings um, with uh, Jennifer Whiteside, who is the Minister of Responsibility for Open Addictions. She will be in town. So I believe, Chief, you are. Another in. meeting? Oh, she's going to attend for sure. Uh, I'm tomorrow's yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah, there's a community meeting tomorrow. I have a meeting with her on. And, um, Friday. So we continue to um, work on the issues surrounding surrounding this societal issue and hopefully continue to make some ground on the issues that face us here in in Nelson. So other than that, had a lovely time actually talking about um, frontline work. Not that it was policing, but I did stop by the PCI was today to have an open house. So, and uh, of course, I was asked the question about <laughs> you don't you don't go anywhere first. Where there's a first responder, and you don't get asked the, the opioid question. So, anyways, but it was good to see them and be able to pass along thanks on behalf of the community for the work, the good work that uh, that they do on the streets, um, and then in conjunction with the work that police and fire do as well. So. Uh, new business. I saw nothing in the package. And so our next uh, meeting is, oh, September. Yes, this is the moment. No August meeting. So. Meeting for four days in St. John's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Maybe it was stuck at the airport. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the planes uh, get us 
get us there. And uh, luggage follows suit. When I went last year, I didn't have luggage. It, it didn't come for a bit, but so make sure that you pack necessity. Necessities. <laughs> like when they lose your luggage, they were very good at the other end in terms of really nice t-shirt and some. Um, <laughs> if, you like, if you like a white hope, a white generic t-shirt um, so that you can sleep in wear, I guess that you got that along with uh, quite a nice selection. Toothpaste and deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you that was in somebody else's one for a second. <laughs> I forgot the name, so. it, was, it was interesting. I, I did put my my um my package back because I went out and bought some things wear and I donated it to the uh, so um, there's always there's always things to do with all that stuff. So. Anyhow, yes. So I guess we'll see some of us in uh, uh, Newfoundland. So just as you sit over there, looking, where are they going? <laughs> it's the um, Canadian. I'm going to get it wrong. Try to look at the Canadian police government. governance. Yeah, and it happens to be that the Canadian meeting this year is in St. John's, Newfoundland. And so there are three members of the board and myself attending that meeting. Sure. So, and that's in August. So we'll be back in September. So if I could have a motion to adjourn. And move, seconded, and all those in favor. Okay. Just, just to clarify, we'll be back from the September. So it's board meeting in September. Right. <laughs> yes. Great clarification. Maybe I, who knows? Maybe I, maybe my plane won't.